Jim Harbaugh is officially the head coach with the Los Angeles Chargers. This is a great move for the Los Angeles Chargers and for Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh is coming off the victory of the national championship when he was at Michigan in college. And that's a great thing for him because that steals off his college career. But he comes back to the NFL. The last time that we saw him in the NFL, he was a very successful head coach with the San Francisco 49ers. He had a record of 49-22-1 and in the NFL. And he also made the Super Bowl with Colin Kaepernick as well. And you expect for him to do some major things with the Los Angeles Chargers. And this is a Chargers team. They need a true NFL head coach. They've had guys like Mike McCoy, Anthony Lynn, and also Brandon Staley over the last couple of years. And it wasn't good enough. And a lot of people, including myself, wanted to see Shane Steichen possibly possibly be the head coach of this team when he was the offensive play caller. But you can't go back and change the past, but you can go out there and you can control your future. And right now, the Los Angeles Chargers are going out there and they're controlling their future by putting it all on Jim Harbaugh. And he's expected to have a great influence over who's going to stay with the team and who is not going to stay with the team long term. I love this move. Jim Harbaugh had a lot of success with Alex Smith and with Colin Kaepernick. And yes, Greg Roman was the offensive play caller through those great years. But I do believe that Jim Harbaugh will have a huge influence on how good Justin Herbert can be moving forward with this team. This this is a team that has a franchise quarterback in Justin Herbert. And he hasn't been unlocked just yet because of bad play calling down the stretch. It's going to be very interesting to see who the offensive coordinator will be with this team long term. But he's bringing over his defensive the coordinator from Michigan who was very good in college and has some very good system as well because remember this the defense was horrendous last season they had one of the worst total defenses in the NFL and one of the worst passing defenses in the NFL as well and they have to go out there and make some moves Joey Bosa is a guy that you look at right now can't stay healthy when he's on the field he's a very good pass rusher but at the same time he's making a lot of money you can cut or trade him that's gonna be a major decision you have a guy like Khalil Mack who has been a franchise pass rusher with you he's coming off the season to where he has 17 sacks and five four fumbles you have a Sante Samuel Jr., who's a very cornerback, who's a very good cornerback with this team. Michael Davis was horrible last season as a starting corner. He couldn't stop anyone. Is that a guy that you want to bring back and try to go out there and try to recover his career, or do you just want to let him go as well? But he was not good last season. I can see this team because they have a high pick in the first round, either going with a guy like Brock Bowers at that tight end position, who is basically a wide receiver playing tight end. You match him up with Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, and Justin Herbert, you're going to have a great offense. Or they can go out there, trade down, and get some defensive pieces as well. Well, but they have a lot of decisions to make. But this right here is a great decision with this team going out there and hiring Jim Harbaugh. And you look at the rest of the offense as well. We, do you want to bring back Austin Eckler, who is a guy that's scheduled to be a free agent? Austin Eckler is a very good receiving back. But like I mentioned before, he's not an every down back. He averaged three and a half yards a carry for 628 rushing yards in the season and five rushing touchdowns. Yes, he's a guy that's going to go out there and get and get good fantasy production. But they need a running back similar to Derrick Henry or Ezekiel Elliott. You need a guy to go out there and get three to four yards when you need it the most to complement Justin Herbert's game plan. And right now, Austin Eckler is a fine running back, but he's not an every down running back. They would benefit more from having a power back within this system with guys like Keenan Allen, Quentin Johnson, and also Mike Williams as well. And that's another thing that you want to talk about. Mike Williams, do you keep him around? Because he's a guy the last two seasons has been able to play the full season. And last season, they were coming off of, he didn't play that many games. He tore his ACL early in the season. And he's a guy that's always dealing with injuries. A phenomenal wide receiver, but you can go out there and possibly get a second and third round pick for him and get him off the books as well. Keenan Allen more than likely will, will be with this team next season because he's coming off of another very good season. He did miss the last three games of the season, but before that, he had 1,243 receiving yards and seven receiving touchdowns and keep this as mine and keep this in mind as well Justin Herbert was banged up majority of the season dealing with that fractured finger on his non-throwing hand before he had to go out there and just be out for the rest of the season dealing with that finger injury so he was compromised majority of the season they couldn't run plays from under center because you have to put your hand on top and you have to take those snaps from the center. He wasn't able to do that because of that fractured finger on that non-throwing hand. Now you talk about Justin Herbert being 100%. You continue to build up this offensive line, give this kid the right protection, and do not put it all on Justin Herbert. Because most years, when the team isn't fully healthy, they're 
going out there and they're putting majority of the offense on Justin Herbert. You can't do that over and over again. He's a tremendous quarterback, but you need to go out there and get him some consistent help. Quentin Johnston did not look good last season with the drops with this team, but he can get open. I expect for a guy like Jim Harbaugh to get into his ear and try to develop him long term with this team because whether fans like him or not, it was just his first season. He was a rookie. Stick with him. He can get better, and I hope that that is the case, but I am concerned about him long term with this team. He was supposed to come in and be that Keenan Allen replacement, so do not rule out this team going out there and drafting a wide receiver in the first round or in the second round as well, but I would love to see Brock Bowers with this team, the tight end from Georgia, who is a transcendent talent at that position. So they have a lot of question marks going forward with the rest of this roster, but they're going to be in a great situation with Jim Harbaugh because he's expected to come in and change the culture with this team. This this is a team that has been able to win one score games over the last couple of years. They weren't able to do it with Anthony Lynn. They weren't able to do it with Brandon Staley. Since 2019, they have led the league in losing games by one score. So they're almost there. They're just not able to go out there and finish off those games because they do not know how to win those close games. I believe a coach like Jim Harbaugh can come in and change the culture. He's a guy that had a huge positive influence on the San Francisco 49ers many years ago. I believe that he's going to have a positive influence with this team as well. But Jim Harbaugh is officially back in the NFL with the Los Angeles Chargers, and it's a great day to be a Chargers fan. He's miles ahead of Brandon Staley, and I do believe that he's a better coach than Anthony Lynn. And I'm not expecting him to just come in and just completely turn things around in year one because you still have the Kansas City Chiefs in this division. And you go back a couple of years ago, the Chargers are just a couple of plays away from beating this team. It always comes down to a weird pick six to where he's targeting the tight end and he's too tired and he's not able to make a fight for the catch. Or it comes down to just a bad sack like how they took against the Dallas Cowboys on the Monday night football game. And Justin Herbert was not at his best this season because of that finger injury. And last season when they made the NFL playoffs, he was dealing with a rib injury as well when they made the playoffs and when they lost against the Jacksonville Jaguars when they were up by that substantial amount. They have to go out there, learn how to finish out games, but this is a great situation for the Chargers. You already have your franchise quarterback. Hopefully you now have your franchise head coach with Jim Harbaugh. Like I mentioned before, he's going to have a huge say-so to who's going to be on this roster and who is not going to be on this roster as well. They have to go out there, buy into the system, buy into the scheme, and I promise you, good days will be ahead for the Los Angeles Chargers. They are a very talented football team that's just dealing with a lot of injuries right now, but this was one of the best places for a head coach to come to with a head coaching opening at the time because you have good players with this roster. You have Keenan Allen. You have Mike Williams. You have Justin Herbert. And you have a defense that's ready to go right now. They may look bad on surface level, but you have a lot of good talent right there. And I expect for that elite defensive coordinator from Michigan to come over and change all of this with this team. But let me know in the comment section below. How do you guys feel about Jim Harbaugh being the coach of the Los Angeles Rams? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.